Many people have positive and negative things to say about Apple's AirPods. Whether they look like someone snipped someone's headphones or that they look like an alien Bluetooth, no one can deny their popularity. They've become so popular, in fact, that even Samsung has invested in the wireless headphone industry. By providing a product that is more affordable, better looking, and provide some interesting features. Samsung's answer to Apple's AirPods is now closer than ever, and it will be interesting to see if it manages to snag some of the market share that AirPods has established. The Galaxy Buds showcase an impressive battery life lasting six hours and a further seven hours in the case. In contrast, Apple's AirPods deliver five hours per charge and 25 hours in total thanks to multiple rechargers from the carrying case. That being said, we do feel that there is one feature in the battery department that sets Samsung's Galaxy Buds apart from the AirPods, and that is their ability to accept wireless charging. Thanks to Galaxy S10's reverse wireless capability, you can literally charge the Galaxy Buds with your phone. We expect this to be useful in emergencies, but probably also as a cool feature to show off to your friends. Jokes aside, being able to charge your wireless buds by placing them on your phone will ensure they're always full and ready to go when you need them, and that's pretty awesome. In the noise cancellation department, Samsung may have dropped the ball a bit. The Galaxy Buds don't have a noise cancelling feature seen by many as a standard these days. However, not all is lost as Samsung has included a nice little feature to the Buds called Ambient Mode. This mode allows you to block out the sounds coming from your surrounding environment with a similar effect to noise cancellation. So far, we weren't able to test this feature out, but we will have a full hands-on review coming soon with audio and feature testing included. As far as sound quality goes, we know that the Galaxy Buds will definitely pack a punch. As we mentioned in our earlier video, Samsung has partnered up with Harman Kardon to have the sound done by AKG. Samsung, being able to utilize AKG tech, will allow it to use the Sound by AKG marketing label, establishing huge brand marketing. However, while it's true that AKG is a well-known brand in audio with plenty of success in the past, the truth is that we just don't know how good they are with wireless headphones given that this is their first try in the market. Samsung gets a lot of things right with the Galaxy Buds. The design is both elegant and comfortable. The Buds felt comfortable during our very brief test and they stayed locked in our ears even as we tried intentionally to have them pop out. If you run, work out, or take hikes with your AirPods, you know how easily they pop out, move, or need to be readjusted. And we must say that the Galaxy Buds feel much more secure in our ears compared to the AirPods. One thing we found a bit disappointing is that the new Galaxy Buds are not truly waterproof. While sweat should not be a problem, the Buds will not likely survive an accidental dip in your pool or a bathtub. The Samsung Galaxy Buds will hit stores across the US on March 8th with a price tag of $129.99 on a standalone basis or come bundled for free with Samsung's new folding phone or with the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus pre-order. For all of our fans in Europe, the price will be €149 and the release date will be March 29th. Let us know your thoughts about the new Galaxy Buds in the comment section below. For more sound and audio news, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, including an in-depth hands-on review of the Galaxy Buds. Thanks for watching and catch you guys next time.